Hi everybody, Adam Steele here, and this is an incredibly mad delay plugin called Late Replies from Blue Cat. Question on the canceling reply To the tip me and close on a cheeky grin One of these days I'll know what a mess I'm in Going on, don't be telling me no lies They tried it once, all the got was a big surprise Let's go So as you could hear there, I only had a few layers going on in that. We had the drums and bass with, with no delay, and then we had two guitars which were crazy, and only two vocals which absolutely soaked everything in delay and reverb, but different types. Uh, Late Replies is the most versatile delay plugin I think I've ever seen. Uh, you can have up to eight different types of delay, and so far you're thinking, well, what do you do? Uh, but each one of those taps can have its completely independent processing, whether you want to pitch shift it, bit crush it, change it with anything you can think of, add external VSTs on every tap of a delay. You can add uh, effects before and after the delay in there. Uh, there's all sorts of mad stuff you could do. You can even add VSTs on one particular part of a pattern delay. There's some mad stuff you can do. So we're gonna show you now what I did with it on vocals and on guitar. And maybe from there you can get really creative with some stuff that you just cannot do with any other delay I've ever seen, including incredibly powerful ones, unless you're really like programming your own, which is rocket science. Sorry if I've been uh, flinging my arms around a bit. This is really exciting because it's just bananas. Let's turn around and show you what I've been doing. So this is late replies that I've got on screen. And you can see there's a lot to go at. This is not a simple plugin by any stretch of the imagination. This is really versatile. It's powerful and it, it, it just, it can do everything. Uh, you can see on the left here, we've got pre effects. So I can add in any of the built in blue cat stuff before the uh, delays. So let's say I want a bit crusher or a compressor or an EQ to carve out the low end before the delays start happening we can do that there is a setting here to change the uh the the overall delay time in beats or in uh just no sync and just whatever time we say uh and then we get into the really clever stuff because there's pattern buffers here there's feedback loops that are all based on times and you can see them all kind of tap away and then you can see the way this has been done here that there are different sides that you can add different plugins to each side if you're doing it this way. This is what I used on the main vocal and you'll hear underneath the main vocal, it's got this kind of extra thing going on. Looking over at her with those big brown eyes. Asking a question of the- Let's just turn off the dry and you'll hear the- And you can probably hear there that I've distorted everything. It's got this wave shape. I started off with one of the presets called Tremo Twins. I don't usually use presets, but this is exactly the kind of plugin where you want to use the presets because as a starting point, 
there is just so much to go at and it changes everything. The, there are different uh, pattern generators. There are different, all sorts of stuff that just makes me a little dizzy. But on, on this, I've got a compressor after everything, which I added in there. Um, I've got a tremolo on the the effect. And in Reaper, I have automated the end of this so that it goes, let's go, let's go, let's go. And let's just make sure the dryer's on. She looks at me and pulls at it. That's a nice feature there. You can turn on and off the dry and the wet uh, delay uh, percentages just with a, a flick of a switch, which means that I can have wet only very quickly. Uh, so I can hear exactly what the delay is doing compared to the original, or I can just dry it up on a whim, which is the same as just turning the whole thing on and off. Uh, I've used automation here in Reaper to play with the percent, like I said. But when it gets really clever is when you look at stuff like uh, the backing vocals here, there's a preset called Padifier. And this has just got echoes on multi-tap delays, on choruses, on pitch shifters. And this, it kind of sounds like a Bono thing. I just yelped into the microphone and this happened. And because that's got the pitch shifter inbuilt in there, along with the multi-tap delay in the chorus and everything, that's just giving me a massive, massive sound. Um, I used this also on the uh, the drum and bass song that I did for the Evo 16 video, which I'm quickly going to just turn off the meta tunes here and just this is what that sounded like on that. And you can hear that really does turn that into a pad on that track, which was where it really came into its own. Uh, this is me copying the vocal, but the main bits of fun that I was having on this particular song were on the guitars, even though you can use it on vocals and everything. So where are they? So we start the song with this chaka 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 chaka. And I've called that guitar one bubble because that's started off with the bubble preset Axiom, which is Blue Cat's guitar, uh, guitar amp uh, suite. But I've got late replies embedded inside here. And you can see this is where it really comes into play because this has got full eight replies and each one has got its own bank of potential plugins that you can use including if I go to load I can go VST3 VST2 I can add anything like I've got all the uh, all the plugins from plugin alliance here I've got Gulfos I could use I don't know on any of them I could use anything crazy and it's all available to me but without without late replies this guitar sounds weird because that's it chaka chak and then if I turn that on And did you see that delay then go ba 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 through all of them? And one of them has a bit crusher on. And originally I thought that would have to be the fifth one because it would be one, two, three, four, tra, six, seven, eight. But it's not because there is no delay initially. So it goes original two, three, four. Yeah, original one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is a bit weird until you get used to the idea. But yeah, I put a bit crusher uh, on the one so that kind of every bar it goes original da da bra da da da. So you'll hear now. And you can just hear a little bit of bit crushing, but it's not on every one. So it doesn't just sound like a mess, which is really important because if that was on everything, it would just be not very useful. Uh, when we get to later parts where I'm holding longer notes.
I think I'll edit that bit out of the final the final piece because that starts to get messy there. But that's just my playing not suiting the, the preset there um, because I start throwing too many notes in for the number of uh, delays that we have going on. But yeah, the fact that I just added that bit crusher there and each one of these has its own sweep filter, which is why it sounds like blah, 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 blah on each one, but they're slightly set differently. That means that that can all be done. And then this cross talk is set down here in these, this is the kind of the, the, the loop of the feedback. Um, so that each time it goes left, right, left, right, left, right. The next time it goes right, left, right, left, right, left. And that means that that can just keep things from being stale and going blah, 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 blah. It can constantly, opposite the ping pongs there's just so much there's an inbuilt ducker and in if you want to use that and i've used it here uh you can use the percentage on the ducker so that um when the lead guitar is playing a line the delay isn't getting in its way or let me back that off And just a small amount of it there means that when the, the lead guitar stops playing, the uh, delay fills that space, but without completely destroying it. And this is the one that really intrigued me. I called this clean dynamic. And the way that this works, this copy of late replies, let's go into Axiom. This is a clean amp entirely. And let's move that over there. This one has a gate in there before any of the delay stuff goes on. So what happens is if I don't play very hard, I get no delay. And there's the delay when I hit it. Now I'm playing on a Telecaster, so I've got that very spiky transient thing that you can see there. But that's perfect for this song because I can just use the pick then to back off and just be gentle until it's time to make the reverb stand out where I can just smack it and off we go. So incredibly versatile. And <laughs> yeah, this is going to start creeping into my mixes a lot more. Late Replies is so useful. It's going to fill out mixes without just being a cloud of mush. I mean, the fact that I can EQ each one of these or before and after in here and just change it all. Even the little things, like I say, like there's a little magnifying glass. I can change a percentage size if it's too big or small for my screen. Easy. Everything you could possibly want is all in here and it just goes on as a big cloud. And as it turns out, the developer is really, really helpful as well. Um, he'll, he'll help you with any questions you've got if they are off the beaten path. I mean, there are manuals for all of this that come with it as well, which I should probably show you. But there is also a multi-core engine. If, if your single thread of the CPU isn't keeping up, you press that button and suddenly it'll use more cores. There's a randomize button. So if you like the idea of this, but you want to go absolutely crazy, hit randomize. And then when it hits, every, every part of the setup just got randomized and changes, but there are little randomized buttons everywhere. So if there's something I kind of like, but it's not quite there, that will just switch it up. And I press that a few times and eventually something will stick. There's just so much to go at. So go and check it out. So there you go, there's so much to go at that this is an absolutely bananas plugin. It's been out for a little while, but Guillaume from Blue Cat has been adding and adding new features, clever new stuff. Anything that you can think of, you can have in there. It's just bizarre. And all the automation of the parameters that you can do as well means that you can have any of those crazy things in there turn on and off on a whim. And that is just unheard of. So, yeah, if you've got any crazy ideas that you've wanted to do with delays that you're thinking, well, if only the plugins that I had did that, check out Late Replies from Blue Cat. 
Link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly did. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.